Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Matt Neal here, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be fitting a cold water uh, spray kit onto my front mount intercooler. Uh, I've been looking at these kits recently, the aftermarket kits, and they're really quite expensive. So I thought, you know what? I'm not using my rear windscreen wiper. So I've deleted it completely. So the, the switch is still on the dashboard for the rear washer jets, and there's nothing there. So why not utilize the switch that's already on the dash with the electric pump that's already in the reservoir bottle down under the bumper and just bypass it with two in, uh, with two um, washer jets to the front bumper, bang, into a cooler spray kit. So what I did is I went onto eBay, some four millimeter silicon uh, vacuum hose, two washer jets uh, that are supposed to have a real nice fan mist spray for, they're, they're for a Vauxhall Insignia. Um, for you guys that follow me on Instagram, Facebook and stuff, you'll see recently uh, I've just put the engine back into my Nissan. Uh, I put new turbos, injectors, um, manifolds, fuel pump, you name it. We, we put it all on there um, along with uh, a load of the gold heat reflective tape on the bottom of the intake manifold and on the turbo pipes and stuff like that, trying to keep the intake temps down to get better overall engine performance. So I took it for dyno run yesterday with 99 octane fuel running 18 psi with all this like fancy gold tape that i put on and i only managed to pull 425 horsepower i wasn't i wasn't very happy about that to be honest but it turns out that my map was really really rich so that's something that i need to address in the future my afrs were fluctuating up and down like no one's business on full boost which isn't fantastic um, puffs of smoke, big fireballs out the back, um, so yeah, that needs addressing. But uh, as for the for the intercooler kit today, I'm going to be I'm just going to drill two holes in the bottom of the bumper, fit these two washer jets, and uh, and bypass the original washer jet pump for the rear windscreen, and uh, hopefully gain a bit of thermal efficiency from it. So uh, let's get straight into it. Have a look. All right, there she is. Let's check it out. So on the 300ZX, you've got two washer pumps down here. And for a lot of car guys, a lot of the 300ZX guys, uh, you will have deleted your rear wipers. And what I'm gonna do is simply bypass this hose for the rear wipers, uh, for the rear wiper jet. And I'm gonna run it round to the front, into the front bumper, using some simple four millimeter vacuum hose and two washer jets, like I said, from a Vauxhall Insignia with the fan spray. And, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get our intake temps down. So let's get on with it. All right, guys, so straight into it. Uh, I've just taken off the old pipe there. I'll sort that one out afterwards. I've fitted my new pipe in, uh, given a bit of slack. There's not, I don't want it to snag and pull on it. I've got plenty to use. Uh, I'm just gonna run that up on top of this, uh, on top of the cross uh, crash bar. Probably give that a, a little zip tie across the top there. Sorry, my bad filming skills. Uh, these are the washer jets that I'm gonna be using. Like I said to you before, Vauxhall Insignia, and the reason I've chosen these is because they've got the uh, sorry, is the uh, the fan spray sooner than the two individual squares. So uh, let's crack on. All right, then, guys. So we're down in the back of the bumper now. I've uh, I've drilled the holes where I wanted them behind the number plate. So when the number plate's on, these washers aren't visible uh, for people to see from the front of the car. So I've drilled these holes there, they're just pressure fitted in. I'm sure Vauxhall would have had a, a clip of some sort, but I didn't have that. So I used a drill bit that was one millimeter smaller than the washer jets. So they just pressure, pressure push fitted in quite nicely. Um, you see that one, uh, that one doesn't need uh, a blank on the end. Plumbed in really nice with the, the four millimeter hose. And I'm gonna plumb it in from this side now to the car and put the bumper back on and really, 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 really hope that it clears the crash bar. Okay then, I've got the bumper back on loosely. Uh, so as you can see, there they are, just underneath the number plate. Two little washer jets pointing down nicely. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, give them, put the number plate back on, um, make sure they are actually not visible from the front, and give them a test and see what they're looking like. Right, so it's not exactly what I had in mind. 
Uh, I thought there would be more of a misty fan spray like the advert told me it would be, but there you go. Perfect example of you get what you pay for. The OEM original ones, they're about 12 or 13 quid I think on eBay, whereas I paid three pound for those. So yeah, prime example, you get exactly what you pay for, but still five quid and I've got myself a cold water intercooler spray kit. I feel that I've saved myself lots and lots of money by doing this. As for intake temperatures, uh, I'm not going to know until I put it on the dyno. Um, I don't at the moment have an aftermarket intake temperature gauge or something I do want to invest in. Um, so for the minute, I'm not actually going to know if it's made any drastic difference to my intake temperatures, whether it's boosted my thermal efficiency or not. Um, but hey, it's on, I'm happy, it's working just like I wanted it to. Um, I might invest in the, the OEM ones to get that proper nice fan spray, but still with, like I said, a 70 mile an hour headwind, that wind is going to push the water back into the intercooler fins and uh, hopefully cool the, cool the front mount down. So guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. If you don't already, hit that subscribe, hit the like button. Catch you later on.